Back here at the Cintas Center, Justin Kutch alongside Donnie Marshall were tonight. We saw an upset in overtime. Yep. Creighton defeats Xavier 79 to 72. And Donnie, nobody would have thought this coming in. The Blue Jays had the halftime lead. They fought back in the second half after Xavier took the lead. And then in overtime, hustle, offensive rebounds. James Milliken comes up big and they get the victory. It's interesting. Last year's Creighton team was all about Doug McDermott. Rocky made some, some buckets, but it was really about Dougie buckets. This year, it really has been whoever has the hot hand. And, and Greg McDermott talking to him after the game, he said, listen, if teams are going to play us versus our record, we'll take that every game. And I think that's what happened in this game. I think Xavier took Creighton a little bit lightly, but you got to give all the credit to Creighton in the way they finished this game. You know, yeah. not only the way they stayed in the game, they got up early, but the way they finished the game to get it into overtime. And they really paid attention to detail. We talked about some of those out of bounds plays that went back and forth. It's what makes Big East basketball so special this game that, that everyone watched tonight. And in overtime, what they did, how they got those buckets in OT, again, with offensive rebounds oh. and, and, and just the hustle plays. It's tremendous because think about this. This game ended at almost midnight. Yeah. And these guys are playing like it's 10 o'clock in the morning at the end of this game. I mean, this was terrific. Offensive rebounds were the difference late in this game, but there were so many other parts. Grosell stepping up, being a man inside his size. I thought that the rebounding by Devin Brooks, to me, was the ultimate difference from the guard position. Guys just really found a way, and I think that's what Creighton is dealing with right now. When you talk about only a couple wins in conference, that's what you have to do. You have to just find a way. You don't have to be the spoiler yet. You still have something to play for. And I think Greg McDermott, he really uh, reiterated, reiterated that to his team late in this game. And that's how they came out with the win. Well, the Blue Jays get the victory in overtime, 79-72 to over Xavier. That'll do it here from Cincinnati as Creighton hands Xavier its first home loss of the season.